Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, YOLO V9 has been released and it beats real-time detection transformer and YOLO MS in speed and accuracy. Today, I will show you how to use YOLO V9 pre-trained model and after that, I will show you how to train your YOLO V9 model on custom dataset. So let's start. First, I'm showing you the GitHub repo of YOLO V9. So this is the official GitHub repo of YOLO V9. And here you can see the paper. If you want to read more about it, then you can uh, read it from here. And my today's tutorial, I will show you that on a Google Colab. So let's go to the drive. So guys, I have created one folder with the name of YOLO V9 in my drive and inside that folder i am going to store everything which is related to yolo v9 and this is my collab notebook let's open this notebook in this notebook i have the entire code which i'm going to show you today the first thing is let's select the gpu so that uh, you can run your notebook on gpu so for that you need to click on edit and then notebook setting under this hardware accelerator, this is the GPU. Here I have selected it and then you save it. Let's see, let's verify if that GPU is getting used by your notebook. So for that, you can write this and here you can see the GPU name. Okay. So guys, the same thing. Let's say if you want to see the GPU uh, with the PyTorch code, then you can write these lines and by these lines, you can simply say that uh, Tesla T4 GPU is getting used. Okay. Now the next thing is here, I'm just mounting my drive and after mounting the drive in this line, I'm creating a link. Why I'm creating this link? Because I don't want to write this whole path every time when, whenever there is a need. So instead of writing this whole path, what I want is I just want to write this. Okay. So in the next line, cd my drive and this is the folder which i've just told you that i've created a folder with the name of yolo v9 so we are entering in that folder now here you can see the location is we are inside the yolo v9 folder and then this is the github repo you uncomment this code and then run it you have to clone this github repo this is the official github repo and once you clone it you will get a folder this folder inside your current working directory and then we are entering in that folder, the YOLO 9 uh, official folder, and we will install the requirements, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. So after running this line, your environment will be ready. Now you can run the code easily, the YOLO v9 code. Next step is to download the pre-trained weights of YOLO v9, because as I've mentioned that we first I'll show you how to use the pre-trained model. So for that, we need to download the pre-trained model. So here, I'm loading uh, I'm downloading these two models and where I want to download it so in my drive I have a YOLO v9 folder and there I want to download it okay so here you will uh, give the location where you want to download these two uh, weights so now here you can see these two files this is the one weight and this is the second weight after that we will download one test image for inference for testing so for that I have downloaded this image you can uncomment this line and in this directory in my current working directory i want to download this image now let me show you this image so this is the image once we have the image now by just writing this single line we will perform the detection the code is python detect.py and then in this weights, we are providing the path of the weight file. So we have given the entire path, my drive, and then my uh, folder, and then the weight file name. And in source, you have to provide the entire path of the image on which you want to perform the testing. And here you have to define the device. So we are using GPU. So that's why we have written zero. And let's suppose if you're working on CPU, then you will mention CPU over here. So when you will execute it, your result will be stored at this location, run, detect and exp. Inside exp, the results are stored. Now let's uh, see the output image which is stored in this exp. So for that, I'm just importing this module and we have given the path of our test image over here. And here you can see 
car, person, dog. So guys, this YOLO V9 model, the pre-trained model, it is trained on Coco dataset and Coco dataset have all these classes, this person, car, dog, right? So uh, this is how you use the pre-trained model. Now let's see how to work with the custom data set, how to train YOLO V9 on custom data set. So for that, the data set which I'm using, I've given the data set link. Let me click on it. This is the page from here. You can download the data set. Just go here and click on this and you will get the data set. So YOLO V9 have the same data set format which YOLO V8 have. You will have images and you will have the annotation files in uh, TXT format. Okay, so you can download this one and we will use the data set in YOLO V9 then. So once you download the data set, I have placed that data set in the YOLO V9 official GitHub repo. Open it and here furniture underscore data set this is my data set and where this data set is it is in the github repo which we have cloned i placed this data set folder inside that repo and when you open this folder you will see train valid and test folder and let's open the train folder inside that you will have images and labels folder and inside images you will see all the images and inside labels you will see the annotations file for all the images in txt format once you have the data set i've told you where to paste it in yolo v9 repo we will paste this data.yaml file okay let's go here let's go inside this repo and here you will see the data dot data.yml file this i have pasted and from where i got this file so i when you will download this furniture data set inside that folder you will have a data.yml file i pasted that data.yml file over here in the repo okay now let's open it so here is my data.yml file i've given the path till images and in valid also you have to give the path Till images valid validation images and training images and here I have mentioned three because the data set this furniture data set have three classes chair sofa and table so this is the data.yml file this file is responsible to tell you YOLO v9 model that where your data set is and the, after that this will be the first thing second thing is we will go inside the models under models there is a detect folder and inside that there is a file with the name of yolo v v9.yaml now let's go here here we have a models folder open it and inside it we have a detect folder open that folder also and here we have yolo v9.yaml just copy it and then create another file and then rename it to yolo v9 underscore custom dot yaml now let's open this file so inside this file guys this is the only thing which will change you'll write three over here by default the value will be 80 because uh, we have 80 classes in coco dataset so you have to change it to three because in my case my custom data set have three classes chair sofa and table and you will write the classes as per your custom data set so this is the change after that save your file that's it guys these are the changes which these are the two things which are required now you can train your yolo v9 model on custom data set and to train the model you will use train dual.py you will define the workers define the batch size and then the image size and you will write for how many epochs you want to train it and here we have given the path of data.yaml file and inside weights i have given the path of pre-trained yolo v9 weight because i don't want to train my model from scratch it's always a good practice to use a pre-trained model and then fine-tune it for your custom requirements so that's what i'm doing device zero means gpu and configuration file so we created this file yolo v9 underscore custom so inside this configuration parameter you have to give the path of that and that's it guys you will execute this cell 
so this tell is still running right now so let me see for how many epochs it has been trained right now my model is trained for 30 epochs let's see what kind of output we get after 30 epochs only let's stop the training now and we will use the model which we got after these many epochs so where we will get these results so guys just scroll up and here you can see that for this exam for this training our results are stored in exp9 so let's go to the exp9 folder so you will get so right now we are in uh, yolo v9 folder here is the run folder open it inside the run we have train folder and exp9 so the training which is going on the result of their training is getting stored over here and here you can see the results.csv file and we have a weights folder inside this exp9 and here we have the best weight and the last weight and guys over here you will see the once the training get completed uh, for 50 epochs you will see the confusion matrix right you will you can see the map graphs everything will be over here okay so in our case i am stopping the training and we will use this best.pt model and which is trained for 32 epochs and we will use this model to test on unseen data for a custom data set let's go here let's stop it and let's perform the inference with a custom model so how we do that python detect.py you can write the image size and then the confidence threshold value device is zero and inside this weight now we will provide the trained custom model path so we have the best.pt model which is in weights and which is in exp folder and then we have provided the source on which we want to perform the testing so i have one image with the name of furniture.jpg let me show you that let's go back so here I have an image for nature.jpg on this image I want to perform the testing so in source I've given the path of that image and then execute it let's execute so here the detections are saved in exp12 now right here exp12 and then run it so this is the uh, output of a custom model but the output is not so good because we have just trained our model for 32 epochs and we have stopped the training in between this tutorial is just to give you an idea that how you can train yolo v9 on your custom data set the link of this notebook is given in description section you can try this code and I hope this video is helpful. So guys, if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.